Hey guys, the modder James B 546 once again released one of his cool mods that tries to add custom synergies to already existing items. This time he chose Mom's Knife. The item is a staple in Isaac games and really powerful on its own, but it always felt like it was lacking in terms of cool synergies. That's why the mod adds 18 new ones. Let's start with a really powerful one. My Reflection will now cause the knife to instantly return to your hands after it reached the peak of a charged throw. But that's not all. The knife will also deal 5 times your damage stat as area damage around the point it vanished at, allowing you to hit enemies a bit easier. But the most powerful part here is the fact that even a short tap of your fire button counts as a charge, which means that the area damage can be spammed at close range for heavy damage. Next up is the pop item, which will cause your knife to spawn a few eyeball tears when it reaches the peak of a throw. The ice will spread a bit and move forward slowly. The amount of spawned eyeballs depends on the time you charge your knife up, and the ice will instantly hit an enemy after being spawned if you space the throw correctly. The ocular rift synergy is probably one of the most powerful ones in this mod. It will create a new rift every single time your knife throw reaches its peak. This allows you to drag all enemies in the room to one point and stab them with a throw from a safe distance. It even works against bosses with enough spawned rifts at the same spot. The blood clot item usually buffs every second tier you shoot. The mod translates this ability to mom's knife by empowering it with a buff every other time you throw it. It is important to know that the mode of your knife switches directly when you throw it, so you want it to be grey when you throw it, or red if you just want to hold it to apply contact damage. The lump of coal item does exactly what you think it would, which is increasing the damage of your knife the further away it is from your character when it hits an enemy. The boost provided by this effect is really strong. It will more than double the damage of your throw if you hit a target at maximum range and charge. Next up on the list of custom mom's knife synergies is anti-gravity. It causes your knife to stay in one place while you charge it up, even if you walk away from it. This allows you to stick your knife inside of stationary enemies, which is often the case for bosses. You can even twist the knife in the wound to add insult to injury. The ball of tar item will cause your knife to leave behind black puddles of creep while it is in the air. A very simple synergy, but certainly nice to have as well. Up to a fan favorite item, Godhead. The mod will cause it to grant its signature holy aura to your knife at all times, which will rapidly deal 2 damage per tick as usual. This will pair really well with the homing effect that Godhead already provides to the knife in the base game. It will be a really big overall DPS gain to your throw. Nine synergies done, but nine more to go. If you are around on my channel a lot, then please consider subscribing to it if you want to help it grow. A like also goes a long way and is much appreciated. But now, back to the video. Holding down your fire button with mom's knife and soy milk will cause the knife to constantly get thrown at a medium distance without having to be charged up at all. This obviously comes with a damage down because of soy milk itself. But this synergy is still way better than what we have in the base game, where it can even be run ending. Another mom's knife synergy that should have always been in the base game is with technology zero. The mod will have it connect you and the knife with electricity. It seems like the beam will always deal a constant 8 damage per tick, no matter how high your own damage stat is. This makes it more powerful than the knife's actual base contact damage. The Tresion item will add a holy light laser to your knife whenever you throw it. The light will stay active for the entire duration of your knife throw. The Tresion light will not add any special effects or damage to your knife. However, it will significantly increase the hitbox of your attack which makes it way easier to hit your enemies. The Rubber Cement item will not cause your knife to bounce off walls, but it will at least prevent it from going through them and stick inside of the wall instead. Everyone's favorite item, the Cursed Eye, also got some love in this mod. 
It will grant all of your knife attacks a nice times 1.3 damage multiplier, even the basic contact damage. Well, as expected, it also comes with its signature teleport curse ability as well. You will always trigger the teleport if you get hit while charging up the knife throw. The Eye of Belial item will cause your knife to get a homing effect as well as a times 2 damage multiplier as soon as it hits its first enemy in the middle of a throw. This sounds like a really niche effect considering the throw is short range. But the thing is, the effect already triggers after the first tick, which makes it already strong on one target alone. The new Eye of the Occult synergy will create a small crosshair on the ground as soon as you throw your knife which grants you the ability to change the knife trajectory. It requires some time to get used to, but it allows you to hit enemies at a safer angle or track them down if they manage to dodge the straight line of your knife throw. Our favorite cat buddy does what it usually does best. Cricket's buddy will create 4 small tears whenever you hit an enemy, which will slowly fly outwards in an X shape. The damage of the tears is rather low, at just 25% of your own damage stat. But the tears can also hit the first target itself if the knife hits that target at the middle of its hurt box. Proptosis will fully revert the damage formula of the knife's throw, causing it to do more damage the less you charge it up, putting it in line with the item's effect. Keep in mind that these two items actually do have a synergy in Repentance, which basically gives the knife a times 3 damage multiplier. Maybe James didn't knew about that one. The last custom synergy before I show you all of them combined is Sinus Infection. It just does what it always does, granting a chance to apply Booger Tears on hit. Probably not the most needed addition to the mod considering the already high DPS output of the knife, but it is still better than not having one at all. And now, as usual in these custom synergy showcases, it is time to show you all of them combined. Having Pop and Tresion at the same time always means trouble. Enjoy! Flowing rose reach down from 